Hey you, quick question. Do you apply product to your hair? You don't? Get out. No, actually, you better stay. You're really gonna need this. Okay, so you do apply product. Well then I have another question for you. Why? What kind of product are you applying? Why exactly are you using this? How are you using it? And what are you trying to achieve? Basically, who, what, when, where, hi, wow, and... Why? I said that. All of the H's. How's, W's. Now those are a lot of questions. You might be thinking to yourself, I don't have the answers. Luckily, everybody, I do. <laughs> yes, me, yours, Judy. Truly, I'm Mel. I'm asking you this because what I've learned with dealing with so many different people is that most of us, not me, most of you don't know how to properly apply product and it's not your fault. Sometimes the instructions in the back of the bottle can be misleading or it's just not specific enough or you don't know if this one goes in first, if you have to put something in after, what goes when, where, who, what, when, why. These are all of the questions, again, very important. So as I get into the categories with you guys about the different types of hair products, I'm gonna show you on my very own head the order that I apply them in. Let us begin. On any given wash day, your very first product and the most crucial product is water. Make sure your hair is nice and wet before applying your products. Okay, so hair product types are generally categorized into three. You've got your prep products, your styling products, and your finishing products. Products from each of these categories are applied in that order. Prep, style, finish. So let's begin with prep. These products are the foundation. They go over your water, but they prepare your hair for any other products that you're going to be putting on top. So prepare and protect. These are gonna be your leave-in conditioners, your leave-in treatments, and often serums. Now serums and oils are a product that you can use in your hair either before when your hair is wet or even after drying. It's just hard to saturate an oil into your hair when it is wet, so keep that in mind. So in my case, because I have bleach blonde hair, it needs protein, my prep product is so it's called Daily Hair Repair. This gives my hair protein, so it prevents it from breaking and gives it shine. And the protein will give me definition later on. So this is my first product. Now, you may be completely different. Maybe you don't have colored hair. You don't necessarily need all this protein at all. So you may be going in with your leave-in conditioner. So I'll show you another one of those that I like to use, but I won't be putting it in my hair today because there is such thing as using too much. So your moisture option would be something like a detangler. This is from Shea Moisture. It's an extra moisture detangler. This is a leave-in, you don't rinse it out. And I would begin the whole process with this product. Or if you have very, very light, fine hair and you don't wanna weigh it down, something like a nice, light detangling spray. For example, this is the Brilliant Damage Control from Aveda and it is a heat protectant as well. Spraying this all over, which I can do. I know it won't weigh my hair down. Mm, it smells nice too. Now once you're prepped and protected, we move on to styling. This is where the magic happens. Now there are many, many, many styling products. So let's look at it as an umbrella. We have our mousses and foams, creams and custards, serums and oils, gels and pomades, and hairspray. Each and every one of these products are going to give you different results based on your hair type. So take me for example. I have a finer hair texture. The first styling product that I apply is my mousse. So for example, one of the mousses that I like to use is the Frizz Free Volumizing Mousse from Diva Curl. And I mostly apply this in my root area because I know that the rest of my hair is gonna have lots of other products on top after and it's really just gonna be build up when I want volume in the roots. Now after volumizing, my hair needs a curl cream in order to keep it moisturized and to give it definition and shine. So I go in with my favorite curl cream, Be Curly Curl Enhancer. And this is a very moisturizing product. I always make sure that my hair is wet enough and I make sure it is detangled as well. And I also section off my hair so I can thoroughly apply my product all over. So with my hair type, for example, if I were to put in a leave-in plus a curl cream, my hair is gonna be really weighed down. And I like to use this type of product because I feel like it gives me everything in one. It is super moisturizing and it's going to give my curls that bounce and shine that they need. So I put in my curl cream. So you definitely absolutely need to be using either a leave-in prep product or a styling cream product. Perfect. So now that we have the moisture, how can I achieve 
hold so that it doesn't separate or cause frizz. If you're not using some form of like a gel, you can expect a lot more frizz from your day two and three hair. So I like to use a liquid gel to seal everything. So if you notice, I've already applied three products just within my styling phase. So if you're only really using one product, you need to reconsider, okay? Especially if you're trying to achieve really good results. Now I'm smoothing the gel over my defined curls. Then I scrunch and shh, everyone shh, quiet for a second. You hear that? That's what you wanna hear. That means that your hair is wet enough and that your product is saturating evenly. And while this is it for me, I'm gonna go diffuse my hair and I will continue showing you guys the finishing products. I will be right back. Excellent. Once the hair is dry, we finish it off with our finishing product. This is the final category before your hair is done and fabulous. Because right now, it's not done yet. I had only diffused, and keep in mind, the gel that I used made sure that I got a lot of hold, so you don't notice any frizz from my diffuse, but my hair is also not very fluffy. Now I still like fluff. So what you can use is either an oil or a serum, or if you really like this gel cast, you can use hairspray. Now guys, I haven't found a hairspray that I have ever loved. If you have a really good recommendation, let me know. So I'm gonna break it up with serum. Just a tiny little bit. Okay, I'm gonna emulsify it in my hands, and I'm gonna smooth it over my curls, and you will watch it grow as the curls soften. This also leaves a really nice shine on the hair, which sometimes curly hair can tend to lack. Or even blonde hair sometimes just doesn't have that shine. So finishing it off with a serum will do that for you. You can instantly see the difference. Now my hair looks fluffier, feels a lot softer as well, and that is all of the products that I like to use to achieve this style and in the order that I use them. And that's just about it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to comment below. I would really honestly, truly love to hear what you guys are using in your hair and how many products you're using. So comment below the products that you love. And if you love me, please make sure you are subscribed to this YouTube channel. You will see videos like this every single Tuesday. And on that note, I will see you guys next week. Bye. What does your hair need? Do you put product? So the five W's and the also H questions. I hope you don't hear that fart, you probably will.